What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Okay, early this morning, approximately 4 a.m., the NYPD has stepped in with riot gear and shields to dismantle the encampment that is the Occupy City Hall movement that started out being a, a, a movement where the protesters uh, took over that area, um, uh, demanding changes to the NYPD and said that they would not leave until they, uh, their demands are met. Uh, within a week, it became a homeless encampment. Uh, the people who moved in there were uh, the weirdest, the strangest of the strange. Uh, the movement was completely taken over by the, the 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 most weirdest people you can ever imagine. I was down there filming. The place was disgusting. Graffiti all over the place. Uh, the place stunk. Uh, there was tents put up everywhere. No one was social distancing. No one cared about wearing a mask. Uh, the spread of germs was 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 pretty obvious. Uh, the place was completely disgusting. You would think the virus would have wiped everybody out by now. Funny how that works, right? Uh, now, the level of violence was pretty high over there. People had, I witnessed someone have their, their camera sna uh, snatched from them and damaged. Uh, there was one assault after the next. There was a New York Post reporter who was hit over the head with a piece of wood. A man was arrested the other day trying to cut the brake lines of a police van. Uh, there was multiple police assaults. I've also witnessed a man in the middle of the street who was a part of the movement uh, who um, was interrupting the flow of traffic and fighting and yelling at people. Uh, people that we spoke to over there said that that man was causing trouble. He was over there they, they multiple times they had to stop him from um um uh, you know uh, causing trouble uh, uh clear it was clear that he had mental health issues like most of the people that were there at that park um now it, it's on center street right by city hall they renamed the black lives matter boulevard very appropriate for the optics uh, uh of the area for what it looks like now um uh, completely demolished this area it was uh, disgusting it looked like a third world country this is not something you would expect uh, in 2020 in New York City, that's something you would expect that to see, you know, in the Bronx, 1984. Uh, it was completely disgusting, the whole area. Uh, finally, the NYPD stepped in and did something. Um, uh, they were given the order to dismantle everyone and, and, and clear the area out. Ho hopefully we can bring the area back to what it used to be. Um, and now this comes, uh, uh, this happens today. Yesterday, a banner of de Blasio was hung on, on an overpass over the Staten Island Expressway. Uh, a banner that showed it was a picture of de Blasio wearing a Che Guevara t-shirt holding a severed head of the Statue of Liberty with blood dripping out of it. Uh, the message is that he is a communist who is against liberty, which most people here in the city agree with that. He's the worst mayor uh, in the history of mayors. Uh, how he was elected twice is beyond me. It really shows the the voting IQ of the, the, the citizens, the residents of, of New York City. Uh, de Blasio, make no mistake about it, really is a communist. We all know that. We all feel that about him. We all talk about that, uh, say that about him. It is pretty obvious he is one. Um, so it seems like he's finally uh, getting the point that he is grossly unpopular here in the city and he must take actions. Uh, shootings has gone up over 300% in the city uh, compared to this time last year. Trump has threatened to send in federal agents to uh, help uh, um, fight the, the, the violent crimes that's been taking place here in the city. I think de Blasio f finally realizes that, that he's about to have somebody uh, override him and take over and do the job that he's supposed to do and he doesn't want the embarrassment of it. So now he's finally taking actions and doing something. Uh, a, little, a little too late for him to save face. His legacy as a mayor will always be tarnished uh, he was the worst mayor New York City has ever had by far. We've had some pretty terrible mayors. Uh, de Blasio really should be removed from office, to be honest with you. Uh, the governor should have uh, stepped in and removed him by now. But I, I believe the governor here in New York State, uh, he's on board with the same thing. He He's de Blasio light as far as uh, being a communist. I think he's uh, just a few steps removed from com being com you know totally on board with uh, de Blasio's message. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But this is just a quick update of what's going on here. Um, more details are, are coming in. Um, uh, so, so far, all, all I really know is that the NYPD cleared up that area, stepped in there and pulled the tents down and pulled people away and told them they had to leave. I'm sure there was multiple arrests, uh, people probably resisting, uh, probably fighting with the police. Um, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you right now. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.